is live with how business owners and customers have responded to changes in the mask guidelines and if a new wave of infection is expected here. Jake? Yeah, Julian, Bill, the short answer there is no. That's according to a health expert I spoke with who says that the vaccines are effective and available in Virginia. Still, ending the mask requirement here in the Commonwealth has put some businesses and their customers in a tricky spot. If we can say one thing for sure, a lot of folks have needed a drink or two over the past year. I definitely have to have a drink once in a while when I, to relax. Robert Coker helps run Once Upon a Vine in Bellevue. We got over 3,500 different uh, kinds of wine in here. That variety of spirits brings in a variety of customers. Some who don't understand why the shop is still requiring customers wear masks. It's tricky. I mean, we definitely try to be very nice and kind about it. There's other people that want to be very rude and, um, you know, don't want to wear the mask. I'm just concerned about some people that are saying that they're vaccinated and, um, you know, we can't really prove that. A patchwork is emerging of businesses like Coker's and large retailers lifting all mask requirements. The hard thing about the vaccine, though, is like, if you're wearing a mask, I can see you're wearing a mask, and I know that you're protecting yourself and me. But it's not like we turn blue or something once we're vaccinated. I guess that's good, right? Dr. Laura Hungerford heads the Public Health Department of Virginia Tech. She says ending most mask requirements could help with vaccine hesitancy, since it's a visible behavior that shows the fully immunized are protected. Even if they got exposed to COVID, they're not going to get sick. They're going to shed it at and such a low rate, you know, if they do excrete the virus at all, that they're not really a threat to people. In Virginia, cases and hospitalizations continue falling. Dr. Hungerford does not think lifting mask requirements will lead to new waves of infection because of the availability of the vaccines. For a new variant to occur, you have to get the virus. It has to replicate and, and mutate within you, and you have to spread it to others. So if you're vaccinated, None of that happens. We're definitely going to try to get back to doing wine tastings again, starting, I believe, this Friday. Coker says Once Upon a Vine is trending back toward normal and won't rush when it comes to the safety of their customers and employees. I know no one wants to wear a mask, but, uh, you know, you have to just do it for your own safety and health. The governor's office has dubbed Tuesday, it's our shot, a statewide day of action. They're urging people who have not gotten a shot to find a clinic and those who have to share their story publicly. For her part, Dr. Hungerford says she'll be administering shots at Lane Stadium in Blacksburg.